On this trip around the county, we take an inside look on one of Noelzell's newest all-star players in an interview with one of Noelzell's best football players. All this and more on this trip around the county. And I'm Zach Greer. On Around the County, we take you places that you may have not been and introduce you to people that you may not know. Noblesville has had many great athletes come through the high school over the years, but not many have had the storied career that Emily Kaiser has had. Producer Derek Brown gives you insight on the Michigan commit. My name is Emily Kaiser. I'm an Indian All Star and a Michigan commit. In the last four years, I think as a freshman, I was, um, I mean, we had a lot of older girls. I was the only freshman on the team at the time. Um, so I was definitely kind of the, I don't know, support, I guess. I was definitely not the lead of the team. Um, whereas senior year, I definitely had to uh, step up a bit. As a freshman, uh, she came off the bench for us and uh, was part of a really good team. We actually had uh, four kids who would go on to play Division One basketball that were on that team. and. Uh, she was a really good player as a freshman, but like I said, playing behind some other really good kids. And then as a sophomore, uh, she was part of another really good team. We were 46 and six her first couple years. Um, and then all that talent graduated and she really, her last uh, couple years had to grow up fast. And uh, she ended up, like I said, averaging around 20 a game her junior and senior year. She ended up fourth all time in scoring and just really improved. Um, as a basketball player in every way, uh, offensively and defensively. Uh, her rebounding was phenomenal, especially her senior year. Uh, and again, as a leader, she really grew up. Uh, I would say even over the course of her senior year, where she was at the beginning versus where she was at the end was remarkable. On the court, I mean, I really looked up to her. She's a great, uh, she's a great athlete. Um, she did a lot for our team. She was very important to us, but I mean, off the court, she's a great friend. Uh, she's goofy, she's nice, she does a lot for everyone, she's always there for everybody. When I scored my 1,000th point, I think it was the HSC game, right? Um, it was very, I don't know, I didn't know it was happening, so I was surprised. Uh, the game kind of just stopped. I didn't really know. My family wouldn't tell me when or what I was at, so I was kind of blind, but felt good afterwards. We will miss her a lot. She means so much to us. Uh, like I said, she's just one of those kids that's a great leader. Uh, she's fun, miss her personality, um, and just the, uh, it's just fun, and just obviously her talent. Clearly, we're gonna miss that, uh, you know, that, that's just obvious, uh, but it's just the stuff off the court. Um, you know, Christmas time, and you know, that, that's probably what I will miss her the most. She has always done a bunch of fun stuff. They decorated uh, my office, and uh, they did the locker room. We've had, I think we still have a Christmas tree up in there. <laughs> Like, they just, they're fun, and they really, uh, she's one of those kids who's just a real joy to coach. I won't miss having to clean up her stuff. That's one thing I won't miss, but, um, um, I'll miss her, just having her around, like, her personality. We, we, when we aren't fighting, we do love each other and have a great time and laugh. Um, it'll be lonely, because I'll be the only child at home, so that'll be sad. As a team, we're all going to miss her. She did a lot for us, but off the court, uh, we always had a good time. And she's a goofy kid and I loved hanging out with her. Um, I definitely will miss playing for the Millers. Uh, it was a great four years. It went by really fast. Um, I think there's a culture here that's just really great. Um, I think it'll carry over into Michigan, so I'm really excited uh, to see where that takes me. I will miss playing with my uh, teammates. Shout out Anna Kaiser, my sister. Um, I definitely think that it makes it more fun. Um, because some of the be uh, best memories I had weren't necessarily a win, it was with my teammates. And we're back now with Emily Kaiser. Emily, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Jacob. So we've got a few questions for you to follow up on your interview. 
So uh, first question is, who were your sports idols or heroes when you were growing up? I would say growing up, um, I definitely looked up actually to my siblings. I'm not sure if you'd call them heroes, but uh, we definitely had a competitive nature in my family. So um, I definitely looked up to my brother, um, John. So definitely aspired to be more like him. Uh, why do you uh, like being on a basketball team? What's the best part about being part of a team? I think the best part about being part of the team is you get you have really close um, siblings. You get really close to your teammates. So it's not even almost the basketball aspect of it. You um, get to know you. I mean, they're some of your best friends. So, uh, what do you feel like emotion wise when you're playing really well out during a game or practice? Um, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really think uh, much when I'm out on the basketball court. Um, when you're playing well, you're kind of just. Actually, when you're playing well, you're kind of just not thinking about anything. Um, you're just kind of rolling with it. So, uh, Who do you wish was watching you when you're out there on the court? You know, who do you wish was up in the stands always watching? Um, I mean, I love it, of course, when my family's there. Um, my mom's probably my biggest supporter, my mom and my dad. So, Who do you owe your success to? I probably owe my success to probably my dad. Um, he definitely pushed me, um, definitely when I was growing up. He, not that I liked it all the time, but he definitely um, helped me get where I am today. So you just recently made the all-star team, right? Uh, what are you looking forward to with that? I'm probably looking forward to the most is playing with some of the um, girls that are on the team. I know a lot of them. Um, one of them I'm actually going to college with, so I think that'll be a lot of fun. We get to spend a lot of time together. Um, I think we'll be there at Marion for a week. So I think it'll be fun just to get to know those girls a little bit more before we all go off to college. Well, that's awesome. Uh, best of luck to you in the future, and thanks for joining us. Thank you. The Noblesville football team has tons of individual talent that you might not know about. Producer Maddie Neely introduces you to some of that talent by going into the football life of quarterback Grant Gremmel. Grant has played football since he was in kindergarten. He started with flag football. For the most part, he did always, Grant did always play quarterback. However, there were a few times where they put him in as a receiver and a running back. Um, Grant was open to playing any and all part of that. Um, and then when he was probably in third and fourth grade, they zeroed in on, on what his abilities were. And from that point on is when he began sticking with just the quarterback side of it. But he loves the ball. Any way he can get a hold of that ball, he's in. My ultimate goal uh, for my future would be to play in the NFL and play at the collegiate level. But uh, if that doesn't work out, obviously I'm still wanting to go to college, uh, probably major in uh, either business or engineering. I haven't decided on that yet. I wish for him to be happy. I wish for him to do what he wants to do and what fulfills him and whatever his desire is and whatever his will. I want Grant to play football in college if Grant wants to play football in college. So if that's his dream and that's his choice, then I want him to flourish and I want him to play in college. If he chooses another path, then I want him to be fulfilled in that path as well. Whatever he wants, then I want that for him. I'll be his biggest supporter. Um, I've had contact from a lot of different colleges. I would say the one college that stood out most to me in the recruiting process would probably be Toledo or Miami of Ohio. But, uh, I mean, I've had different colleges contact me throughout my uh, seasons. I have a lot of the MAC schools, uh, so Ball State, Miami of Ohio, Eastern Michigan, uh, Toledo, uh, those type of schools locally, and then uh, some bigger schools that have, had, that have uh, contacted me have been uh, Michigan State, Purdue, and Indiana. So my 7-on-7 seven -seven football team, uh, their name is Indy Select, and if you guys don't know what 7-on-7 seven -seven is, it's uh, you have a quarterback, uh, so it's basically it's just football with the skill players and no defense alignment or offense alignment, and then there's no kicking, punting, or uh, field goals if you score. Uh, we had kids from Ben Davis, Warren, Avon, Brownsburg, uh, Noblesville, Fishers, HSC, so uh, all local schools to uh, Indianapolis were on my team. Um, we we compete in 
different tournaments around the state. We also compete out of state. So uh, for example, last year we went to Las Vegas for the Adidas National Tournament, which we got invited to. Um, we were state champions last year of Indiana, so that was cool to be a part of. Um, but I think that's helped me a lot because uh, it helps me personally with uh, my readings throughout the defense and helps him make decisions quicker. The seven on seven team and the Noblesville team both are beneficial to him in different directions. The school team, I think, benefits him as a whole um, with the community and as the school. And he learns the leadership as uh, the team gathering together, um, learning to have that many, you know, the amount of, of students that, he, that are together as a team. And that's just gonna touch what he would have to do in college if that's his dream and that's what he pursues and that's what he wants and can accomplish. Um, the seven on seven is a lot smaller. So the time release of the four seconds, I think benefits him in the sense that he has a very quick response and he has to release the ball very fast. And therefore the mechanical skills are very quick and he doesn't have time to stop and think necessarily to process, you know, one, two, and three. It's a matter of getting the ball out there and being able to focus um, and zero in on things very sharply and very quickly. I think Grant definitely has a future with football. At what level, I have no idea. I'm not a scout, I don't get paid for those decisions, but I do think he has a future with football. Um, hopefully, he'll go somewhere big, uh, sign me a few autographs. I think Grant will be successful in anything that he does. I think if he is able to touch that ball in college, he's gonna learn and he's gonna grow. I think that he possesses an enormous amount of talent for leadership. Um, beyond just the football, I think behind the ball there has to be uh, the, the robotic part of the mechanical skills is there, but Grant possesses something that I've seen in him since he was little, which I think the compassion and the love that he has for others um, and what he can bring to the sport and the game as well as just humanity alone. I think no matter what he does in his life, um, he can definitely uh, make a change for the better for anyone that's involved and around him. Every year, students here at NHS have to select certain electives that they want to take for the upcoming year. Producer Zach Greer takes you into the biggest high school weights program in the country and how they have been so successful. Every year, Noblesville High School students have to fill out their schedules on classes that they would want to take for the upcoming year and for their electives, one of the top classes that the students want to take is athletic weights. Uh, my name is Coach Clark. I'm the Noblesville High School Strength Conditioning Coordinator and Wellness Department Chair. Well, I'm finalizing my 17th year overall as a head strength conditioning coach, but this is actually my 10th year as a head coordinator at Noblesville High School. Each student has their own individual story of being in the class. Uh, I wanted to join it to become a better athlete in my sport, become stronger. Uh, what I love about the athletic weight program is that it's a great opportunity for me to get stronger. I joined mainly because all my friends were doing athletic weights and then I also heard that it was recommended by a lot of the athletic coaches so I figured I should try it and see how it went. I started a business about 17 years ago and then now that I'm completing my 10th year actually at Noblesville High School. Athletic weights isn't just a class for these students. It's a lifestyle that they live by and care for one another every day. What I love about the program is the grind and the fact that everybody in there is pretty much family. We always push each other and we, when we get in trouble we do our punishments together but we also uh, push each other to get stronger and we grow as a family. One of the things I want to make sure people realize is I know we have an outstanding facility, but it's actually how our kids work, but then the program that goes into it. One of the things that definitely separates us from not just many high schools, but also many colleges, is that we look at the individual first to assess their needs, then sport considerations second. So what that means is we'll put them through functional movement screens, we'll put them through different um, oh, positionings with their body to assess their asymmetries and imbalances. Once we do those assessments, it tells us then what movements it can actually perform effectively and highly effectively. What 
continues to make me come back to athletic weights is all the people in there. They always it's like they always show love towards you and they want to help you get stronger and they want to push you. And you want to do the same for them and you just want to compete. It helps you compete and get better in your specific sport. Uh, I want to keep on coming back so I can because the competition gets higher with everyone lifting weights. So I get stronger so I can be a better mover. Well, I think the athletic weights program serves two different purposes. Number one, if you have any aspiration of playing at the next level, strength conditioning has evolved so much, it's not like it was 20 years ago where you're just getting an advantage by lifting weights and training. Now everybody's doing it. Now this is not the easiest class in the world, but it's definitely worth it if you are willing to work hard and try something new. Athletic weights is just my life as a student. It makes me want to work hard in everything I do and to push through the hard times. So ever since I've taken it, it feels, it's, it's an easy class to relax in. You don't have to worry about any of your other classes and it just pushes you and it's, it helps relax your mind. It also teaches you life lessons on how you need to try hard and do better. Always push yourself. Um, I believe 100% that the weight room is the best classroom in the world. It's a place that we literally do want failure. We want our kids to hit the overload principle. Uh, we want them to experience that. It's our job to pick them up, dust them off, push them back in the right direction, and say, let's do it again. You know, I look at the back squat. What I love about that is that it's, it's one of the pieces where we literally are going to put weight on a bar to push you down. And just like in life, when you get down, you got to look up and you got to stand back up. So there's a lot of different uh, symbolisms and experiences that you go through to develop and push yourself mentally, physically, and emotionally. If a student was deciding whether to take athletic weights or not, I would definitely recommend them taking it because it, again, it helps out with uh, other classes because you can relax and it gets your mind right before you go to your next class. And it also has amazing people in the class to help you and you can make a great family with all the students there. Uh, I would tell students are concerning to do athletic weights would be if they want to work hard and put themselves through some pain that this would be the class for them. I use a phrase all the time, I love you when you walk in, I love you when you leave. Sometimes in between you may not feel as much and all that basically means is I'm going to be honest with you, we're going to push you and it's actually how lobsters grow. They, they get into a shell and when they become uncomfortable they shed the shell and they move on to a bigger one. So the only way you're going to experience growth, growth in life is by taking jumps, taking chances and working hard especially outside your comfort zone. With a growing population of around 600 students, the athletic weights community only seems to be growing more and more, which makes it one of the top electives most students take here at NHS. That's all for this episode. I'm Carly Chire. And I'm Zach Greer. We'll see you next time on Around, Around the, the County. County.